How do you even take a thumbnail? You leave that. Is my dress in it? Are you all in? Okay. Welcome to my first ever YouTube haul. Um, I really wasn't even planning on doing this today. I was planning on doing a TikTok haul, but I went downstairs this morning and I didn't realise how much stuff I bought. So I bought a few things the other day and I bought a few things last night. And I went downstairs and I was like, oh my God, there's actually three more bags. So what I'm planning on doing is showing you the pieces like sitting here and then having a little split screen. I'm going to have to try and learn how to do that because I have absolutely no idea. But from the other hauls I've watched, people were like, do it here and then have a little try on bit here so i haven't actually tried anything on yet um but if i try something on and i don't i'm not vibing with it or there's something i don't like or the fit's weird then i will say like i'll put a little note on there but if i do like it then i probably won't comment anything more on it unless it needs to be said unless something is absolutely amazing about it then i will let you know as well i don't actually know what to start with first there's one thing I do know that I bought, which is actually a present for my friend. So I'll show you that as well, because I feel like it's a really, really good gift idea that you can get for someone for Christmas or like the period coming up to Christmas. But I'm just going to start opening and see what comes out. I've literally not done a YouTube video like this before ever. So I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do my best. And also, I promise you guys, I am going to do like a little Q&A type thing soon, because I've literally, I've just jumped onto YouTube without filming like an intro to who I am. I'm just expecting people to know me. And that's like, not in like a vain way, but like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just like, oh yeah, hi, here I am, vlogging my fucking parents, getting married, vlogging my birthday. People are like, who is this bitch, you know what I mean? But majority of you have come from my Instagram, so probably all of you, to be fair, so I feel like you have some kind of idea. But I feel like I do want to do an in-depth talking video of like, me, I guess? I don't know, just a little bit more about me so you actually know who you're watching, rather than just like watching. One tip when you open ASOS bags that I've learned my lesson with is... Do it gently. If you're like me, I will literally, I will rip the bag open from here, but don't do that. Because if you want to return anything, you need the little uh, green sticky bit here, because then when you reseal the bag, it's just, it saves so much hassle when you're returning. So I just moved those bags out of the way to kind of give a bit more space for the split screen thing, I think it's called. Um, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. So the first piece that I got, well, the first piece that I'm getting out of the bag is this kind of shacket, borge type, jacket um it's got little buttons down the middle and then a pocket on the side i feel like this is like a staple that you can wear with black white gray a pop of color i feel like with like a little hat like maybe a beanie hat scarf i'd either go for like an all nude look or either all black underneath it um with a nice pair of boots i bought a nice pair of boots as well that i feel like would go with these like a nudie kind of color as well um so yeah i love this so on the theme of jackets i bought this kind of like i don't know how i feel about it looking at it now it looks like it's been put through the wash about 100 times. If you can see, it's quite like washed out. But it's this really thin gilet jacket. So I feel like you'd want to wear this with, if it's quite cold, then wear it with like a big hoodie. Um, I like wearing gilets with like a big hood at the back. Um, but it's like that contrast of like black and again, that kind of borge material. I'm quite liking that at the moment. I feel like again, all black outfit and then maybe like um, an accessory, like a hat or a scarf to match this colour here. I feel like when it's like cold, but not too cold, you could wear this because it is quite thin so staying on the topic of jackets or gilet jackets i've got another gilet so sorry i should probably not talk while i'm opening the stuff let me just get it out there so this is another gilet that i've got um i really like this i love the color in person um i hope it comes across on camera but it's like a really deep kind of khaki but not too khaki green but it is actually it is khaki green isn't it but um again i just feel like with an <laughs> I love all black outfits and then like a, a statement colour, like whether it be black or, or white or grey, but I feel like with this, definitely black. I feel like you could not dress it up, but dress it to make it look a bit more like day out kind of thing with like boots, jeans, or you could just literally wear this on like a dog walk with like a black tracksuit. But I love this. I've been looking for like a nice khaki gilet for a long time. So I'm really happy with this one and it's quite padded but not too padded and it doesn't have a hood which I quite like with gilets because I like to wear hoodies with them so I don't want to be double hooded up if that makes sense. So this is the boots that I was talking about that would go with 
the Borge jacket that I showed you first. So how beautiful are these? I feel like I've got shorter versions of these, but I don't know. I just love the kind of past ankle mid-length boot at the moment. They look quite big actually, but I do like a chunky boot. And they're kind of like an off-white creamy type colour with a bit of a deeper cream lace and more of like an ivory bit around here. But yeah, I feel like these are going to be another staple in the wardrobe. This jacket I've been really excited to get actually. I don't know if it's going to be the right size because they only had a couple of sizes left. But then when I went and looked back, they had a lot more sizes in stock. So I might have to, if it doesn't fit me, I might have to return it and get a smaller size. So I think I got this in a 10 or 12 and it's a crop jacket. So I kind of wanted to stay more true to size. I think this might be in a 12 actually because I probably would have got it in a 10 or an 8. But looking at it now, it actually doesn't look too big, but it might be longer than I wanted it. But it was actually petite. They didn't have any other kind of sizes. They just had petite size, which I thought was a bit strange. But it's like a mushroom colour. I feel like I kind of know already how I'm going to style this with like a pair of boots again or trainers. Probably black, not going to lie. And then a hat. Maybe I'm just getting a bit boring with the way that I dress. I don't know. <laughs> But that's, that's like my go-to outfit, but you can change it and switch it up with different coats, different jackets and layers and accessories. Uh, but that's kind of the basis of a lot of my outfits, unless it's jogging bottoms and um, jumpers. Yeah, I love this jacket. Um, it's not that puffy, but I feel like for a style like this, you probably wouldn't want it to be overly puffy, actually, um, and a little bit more fitted. Moving on to the next one. This jumper I actually remember seeing on the website because boy that I know was modelling it and he looked really good in it actually. So shout out to Robin, you looked great in this jumper and made me want to buy it. Um, this jumper is actually quite thin, it's a lot thinner than I thought. But then again, anything from um, Reclaimed Vintage that I bought that's like a sweater, jumper type style was always quite thin. Like, just bear that in mind when you do buy it, it's really, really thin material. It's got like a little detail here. So yeah, I love that. I feel like that's going to be a nice little basic type staple for the wardrobe that I'll probably reach for quite a lot. Then next is this leather, or faux leather, I believe it is, Topshop cropped jacket. Um, I've wanted one of these for a while. I don't know how this is gonna look on me because whenever I try leather jackets on, sorry, my camera stopped filming for whatever reason, I don't know. But what I was saying is whenever I try leather jackets on, it kind of brings me back to that time when I was like 14 years old and I'd wear like those weird leather jackets down like the high street with my friends and I'd just be wearing probably like blazers and like fluffy socks. But I feel like with this one, it does look quite nice because it's cropped. I don't really like the like the ones that come to about here. I only really like them or have liked them on other people if I see they're cropped or they're really, really oversized. So yeah, I do feel like this one will be nice. Maybe with like a pair of blue jeans. Um, normally, if I'm wearing something that's a bit tighter on top, I will go for more of like a vest top or something a little bit tighter underneath it as well and then like a baggy bottom or like a mum jean or whatever um because my thing with the way i dress i normally do like a oversized jumper then i'll probably wear like leggings or something tighter on the bottom um, or if i'm wearing like really baggy trousers or baggy jeans and i'll wear like a tighter top um, or if i'm going to wear something oversized it probably will just be like an oversized t-shirt i only really wear really oversized if I'm doing like, yeah, again, t-shirt and like baggy jeans or if I'm doing like tracksuit. Um, so yeah, that's like the way I kind of base my outfit. Whether it makes me feel comfortable. So yeah, I do like this. I can't wait to try this one actually. Don't know how I'm gonna feel about it, but um, we will see. And then next is this pair of jeans. So it's not like an average pair of jeans. It has a bit of a pattern on it, if you can see. So yeah, these do look nice. I'm just wondering how the fit is going to be. They don't look very long and I do like my jeans to be very long on me. Like kind of literally touching the, f like over touching the floor which gets them very dirty but I like that look over trainers when they're like really baggy around the ankle. And I do really like the pattern. I haven't got any jeans like this really. And it's not too much. It's just a contrast between the light and darker jean type of colour. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these on and seeing what they look like. So next, I've just got this really basic khaki vest top, which I feel like is a needed staple in my wardrobe. It's something I've kind of wanted to grab, but I've just not had in my wardrobe with quite a lot of outfits, whether it be like a black outfit or just with jeans. I feel like that would look cute together. And then an oversized jacket. Just really nice material as well. It's like double line. And yeah, I feel like this would be really nice and fit really nice as well. The next item is actually a dress, which I never really buy anymore. I feel like everything I buy, and a lot of things that I feature, probably 95% of the things I feature on my Instagram is casual wear or like day-to-day -day stuff. I barely ever 
showcase like dressy up stuff so if you want to see more of that let me know but i do struggle to find things that i actually like wearing and would actually wear on a night out that's something i really do struggle with was what to wear on a night out so maybe in my hunt to find some more things i can do a video if i find any nice things that i actually feel comfortable in so something weird is going on with my camera today it literally cut off again um and i thought i'd lost everything that i just filmed and i literally shit myself i think it's fine um so we're gonna keep going that's probably why the lighting's changed maybe why i look a bit different because that really does stress me out i thought i'd literally lost all the clips that i just filmed <laughs> but I think we're good so anyway the dress that I was about to show you was this chocolate coloured little dress I like I've seen a lot of this style about the thing with this I like is that it has like a double lining across the boob area so it covers that part not leaving it like too see through and then also like around the bum bit as well it's like see through here you can see and then it has like a lining so it adds a bit of like contrast throughout the dress and it has these little diamond tay type things here as well which I think are really cute and then like a zebra print over it but yeah i'm gonna give this one a go i feel like this weird a pair of black knee-high boots or if you want to dress it up then a pair of like chocolate colored heels or black heels and then i've got like a black trench coat i feel like that would look cute with this if you're going out um, to dress it up a little bit and to feel like a little bit more covered up that is this box done let's move that out of the way oh this room is so messy right now this is another black jacket that I've got. It's literally just a basic style jacket. I feel like I might have needed to get this a bit more oversized, but, but yeah, there's not much really to say about this jacket other than it's like a nice, like waterproof type of material. Um, I've got gilets in this type of material, but not an actual jacket, I don't think. It has the detail at the bottom where you can like pull it in a bit or you can loosen it up as well. I feel like this is a nice little basic that you can wear over any kind of outfit. Probably more like casual wear. I feel like over a tracksuit, just to keep you warm or like a hoodie oversized hoodie i've got these little joggers these actually bash kind of stocked on asos i like how the waistband comes in quite a bit and then the um hip part comes out i like when it gives you that shape so it's not just like straight down um, and i love the little line detail down the front bit here as well and it's got the little cuffs at the bottom which are similar to the top. It hasn't got any lace tie bit, if that's something that you feel like you need in a pair of joggers. But sometimes I like it because it feels quite flush to your waist when you haven't got the little tie bits on there. And I feel like you can like dress this up a little bit, not dress it up, but like instead of just wearing it really casual, you could wear it with a white vest and some white trainers and like a crop jacket. And then next is a staple that I've needed a new pair of for a while. It's the black version of those ribbed leggings I wear quite a lot. You probably see them a lot on my Instagram. I have them in like a nude colour, in a grey colour, um, more of a cream colour as well. Um, I wear them all the time. I actually bought a pair of like these from Zara. So they're like a, um, these aren't from Zara by the way. These are Stradivarius where I get my favourite leggings from. But the ones I got from Zara ended up going really bobbly. And like every time I'd wash them, they'd become just more like bobbly. But these Stradivarius ones never do that. I've washed them so many times, worn them so many times. So I saw them in black and had to get them in black. Um, and I know you guys love the rib leggings as much as I do. Because whenever I post it, everyone goes mad for them and loves them. So I feel like a black is a really good basic. And they just fit so nice then lastly in terms of shoes and i think that's the last of the clothing actually so this item is gonna be kind of like a love it or hate it type item but i have an outfit that i think will look really cool with these boots hence why i bought them so it's like a black kind of standard boot ankle no not ankle mid-length boot i think and then with this pop of green at the bottom i think they're really cool they're quite out there um but with the outfit i've got in mind so i wanted to wear them with the adidas green gilet and then like all black and then the green gilet to match the bottom of these but i couldn't find it in green so i'm going to get it in the black adidas gilet and then the green zara jumper that everyone's been wearing i'll put a picture up i'm sure you've seen it everywhere so wear the green jumper the black gilet black bottoms and then these boots i feel like would be really really cool together so the accessories that i bought um starting with these little i don't know how you explain them not mittens but like fingerless gloves that you can add with like any coat you see like with that black jacket that i bought and it's a bit basic and doesn't really have much on it i feel like if you wore something like this with it it may even look quite nice with this jumper actually i don't know maybe that's a bit much but with like a jacket or a coat i feel like wearing these they're really warm as well and you can still like use your fingers with them i don't like wearing mittens and um gloves that you can't use your fingers with i feel like these are really really cute i'll show you them close up they kind of go with my nails as well i feel like they're very wintry type style and yeah you can pair them with anything and it's not just 
with one type of coat. You can wear them with any coat. So it's a good little staple to have as well. Next are these sunglasses. So I wore these sunglasses to loads of festivals that I went to this year and I got so many questions on them. And I knew they were from ASOS, but they were always sold out. So I didn't, I said they were from ASOS, but I could never link them. And then I wore them to Park Life. I think it was a day two Park Life. I wore it with like a blue outfit. Got so many questions on them. And then I lost them in the crowd. I went to watch another act and I was like, oh my fucking God, my glasses are gone. Um, they're not like, like really expensive, but the worst thing is, is when it's sold out and you know you can't get another pair, that's like another type of heartbreak. Like I knew as soon as I'd lost those, I was like, I, there's no way I'm gonna get them back because they're always sold out on ASOS. But they came back into stock and I, they are, I think they were on sale as well. So maybe I just was looking at the wrong pair um, and they've been in stock the whole time. But these are them. I feel like you can wear them in winter as well. I like wearing sunglasses all year round. Um, that's some close up. But yeah, they're like a tan type of brown colour. So they're not just black, which I really like. It gives a bit of a different shade to an outfit as well. And then next are these set of earrings. So I'm sure there's meant to be three sets on here. I need to check the website, that's really confusing. But anyway, they're like these rectangle earrings. So a bit different to the little circle ones I always wear. Um, like the little round ones. I just thought that would add a little bit more. I don't know, rectangle earrings, that's what I just, I saw on the website and I liked it, so I thought I'd get them. And those weren't too expensive, but they do tarnish probably about, after a couple of months of wearing them, I mean, I used, I wore these non-stop, and then after a couple of months, they do go a little bit silvery, so that's another reason why I wanted to get some new ones. I'm really confused why there's only two on there, though, because I'm sure there was three on there when I bought them from the website. I don't know. I found corrected, there is actually only two on there. Okay, so lastly is the thing that I bought for my friend for um, Christmas. And I just realized that I'm not gonna be able to open it on camera because then I'm opening her present. <laughs> So basically, it's just the advent calendar that I bought from ASOS. I just think it's a really nice buy for someone that you can get for Christmas or before Christmas and then you haven't really got to think about their present towards Christmas. My friend that I bought it for is going through a bit of a shit time, so I feel like each day leading up to Christmas, she can have something that she can look forward to opening. So I thought that was a really nice idea. Instead of having like one present that she's like, oh yeah, that's nice, like cute, whatever. But if you have something like, it keeps coming. You keep getting presents every single day. So I just thought that was a really, really nice idea. Um, and the stuff on here, I'll put a little picture up. If you're looking to buy it for someone, then cool. But if you think you might want it as a present, maybe don't look because you'd want it to be a surprise. If you're not going to look, take my word for it. There are so many nice things on here. I was itching in shock when I saw it. I thought that's perfect for my friend. I literally had iconic Elemis. Hang on, I'll get the picture up so I can tell you more about what's on there. Yeah, so they have on there like a MAC lipstick, Beauty Work stuff, Elemis, Origins, Olaplex, Fake Lashes, Charlotte Tilbury, that Paw Paw stuff. Yeah, so loads of different things on there that I think would be really, really good for a present. Um, and they're really good sizes as well. It retails for £75, but I got it when there was a sale on. Sorry to my friend if she's watching this. Yeah, I did get a sale bought present, but it was only 10 or 20%. I think I got it for like 60 or £65. So I feel like for what it is, for 60 to £65 is so good. I think the re retail price is like 130 But if you were to add up everything all in there together. But it actually says on here 74% saving. So I'm unsure of how much everything is all together but i'm sure it's quite a lot because there is a lot of products in there yeah it comes like this maybe i can open it a little bit she won't mind not i won't open any of the presents but i'll show you what the actual box looks like wait i'm sure they've sold this scarf on asos before so i guess you get a scarf with it as well and oh i bought a breaker thing to go in it I'm gonna do it. She won't mind it's for the video. And you get a nice little bag as well with it. This isn't an ad, by the way. I just literally thought it was a really, really nice present idea. I'm honestly opening her present right now. I know she won't care, but this just looks really bad. Okay, so it comes like that. So it's not like a proper advent calendar. It comes with those little boxes. You just go from like one to, is it 24 or 23? Or is it 25? No, it must be 24 because it's Christmas Eve, isn't it? So you get 24 little presents in there and they come in boxes like that. But yeah, that is everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed my first ever haul. I loved it so much. This is literally my favourite thing to do is buy clothes and show clothes. It's what I do, it's my job and that's how I got into doing social media was showing my outfits and putting things together that I think you would like and what I love. I'm definitely going to be doing more of this. Um, with different brands. Let me know if there's any other brands that you want to see, maybe a little Zara one, because I know they've got loads of cute pieces for autumn, winter as well. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry about the complete change in lighting throughout this video. I've had so many stop and starts with this camera, I don't know what's going on, um, but it's so dark now, and it was really light at the beginning of the video, I feel, but anyway, we got there in the end, um, and that is everything. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you in my next video.